NBA 2K25 just released their My Player Builder. When I tell you this builder is crazy, this builder is crazy. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. Yes, we are back here with another video. Now, in this video, I'm going to break down all of the My Player Builder news that I can. So, without further ado, if you like the video, go on the like, comment, subscribe. If you are new to the channel, let's get right into the news. Now, as you guys do know, there are over a hundred new possible archetypes in the My Player Builder, and you can also change like certain builds a little bit. Where you can get new different build names, they remove stamina. Where you can still get them through workout still, but it takes about two weeks to get to a 99, and once you get it, it does carry over two new players. They also remove acceleration and they replaced it with agility. And then 2K introduced something new and it's called cap breakers. Cap breakers can be earned through rep and they can increase your attributes beyond their initial cap. So let's just say you got like a attribute that's set at like a 70. You can use a cap breaker, put it at like a 75. Now, if you really thinking, y'all know how 2K players think. If you got a cap at like 94 and you put that plus five on there, that gives you a 99 rating. And they also have this thing where it's called a legend badge. Now, the legend badge is a tier above Hall of Fame. Now, when I tell you if this legend badge actually works and they don't patch it, and if we find out if legend badge actually work, that's going to be crazy. Just think you can make a 6768 player with legend unpluckable or legend ankle assassin as you can see in the thumbnail that's a new badge ankle assassin it's kind of like takeover kind of like ankle breaker really just probably like a new version but hopefully it does work and once you get all these different badges just to see them out as you know now there are only 40 badges in nba 2k25 they did take out a lot of badges but they also combined a lot of them too as you don't know for example blinders is not a part of dead eye and there's no badge regression so once you get your badges you got them so be on the lookout for how to max out your badges build videos i'm not gonna lie they're going to hit like crazy when i mean like crazy i mean like crazy and badges are split into two tiers based on your my player height so now it really depends so now the taller your player might be that probably might be a lower tier than usual but you know once we get on the game we'll find out all that and now there's a new builder tester where you can preview any animations your build gets and test it in the 3v3 5v5 or just by yourself i'm not gonna lie i do like this because you know in the past you would have to make a build go through all the cutscenes just to see if you unlock that rate or if you can unlock the rating now they're giving us the option to go through the builder and see if we get it just off the jump i'm not gonna lie that's nice and the best news that we've had the my court is coming back i'm glad the my court coming back i'm not gonna lie i got tired of going to the gatorade facility to rent a court that had a whole shadow in it where i really couldn't see and the court was small so like that was just dumb i'm not gonna lie i did not like that at all but i'm not gonna lie they also have badge enhancements and with these badge enhancements they have badge perks that return with new abilities that max a plus one plus participation plus synergy and they also have new performance multipliers that can boost your badge progression they also have badge elevators that also allow permanent boosting to individual badges i don't really know what all that means right now but i'll find out once i get my hands on the sticks i'm not tripping about that now let's talk about the takeover system for the takeover system there are 72 new takeovers with five levels of automatic unlocks now that's crazy 72 new takeovers y'all know even though we might have 72 new takeovers people might only use maybe like six or seven not saying they're not bad just saying they're not going to be as useful as the other maybe 60 65 66 if that hopefully each one of these takeovers like really 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 changed the game as you did see in the trailer they have a new one called shag barbecue chicken i don't know why shag got his own takeover now but hey it is what it is and prefer for progression and gameplay 
I'm messing the words up. I'm tripping, man. It's all right, though. Season XP can now be earned through my career games and apply to the city and my team. And community builds are returning in Season 2. Now, for Season XP to be earned in my career games now, it's not bad. It's kind of like in 2K19 where there was a final year of people playing my career to get their rep. That's kind of what they're bringing back. But, I mean, it's not really that much big of a deal, really. Because people are going to find a way to really boost it up. That's going to be another video that's going to be trending. I'm telling you now how to get the most season XP through my career. Going to hit like crazy. I want to say another one. I ain't going to say it though. But like crazy. I'm telling you, man. It's going to be crazy. So from all this news I'm seeing about NBA 2K25, I really can't wait to see. And now I'm seeing that certain badge, like some of the, ba some of the badge series, that they are in NBA 2K24 Builder, they've been like lowered a little bit. I don't know why. So now it gives you more of a chance to make your build more overpowered. But so far, I'm liking what I'm seeing about NBA 2K25. Y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments about this. It's been your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. We still out here grinding like always, man. And I'm out. Peace.